Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today to show you how to do an automatic B setup. First you're going to want to start by placing down an apiary and then from there I take um, a wooden transport pipe and we'll slap this down. Now if you got the right mod, I like to use a gate on here rather than a redstone engine say with a torch. I mean, either way, uh, one of them will work. We're gonna go gate, and it's the autark, or the um, autarchic gate, sorry. And that's the wrong one, right there, autarchic gate. And then uh, what we do is we stick it on there, and then you right click on it, and it gives you these options. Since we're working with a type of inventory, I like to put when there's items in the inventory, apply a pulse. So that's like the same thing as a redstone engine, but a lot nicer. Uh, then we're going to get some transport pipes out here. We'll try the apiarist pipe here first. And then I like to use stone uh, transport pipes as well for this. And then we'll need an insertion pipe as well. And an iron pipe. All transport pipes, obviously, just items. And seeing as how it is build craft piping, we're going to need the build craft pipe. Uh, hold on a sec here. Sorry about this. All right. Now we're gonna go from here is the apiarist pipe, and we're also going to want to go out a couple. Oh, one, two here, and then this is where you're gonna have your uh, chest that all your good items are gonna come out into, like your wax and all of that kind of stuff, right over there. Also, we need to go up two so we don't clip the top of this apiarist chest when we come around and uh, digging under here will make this a little easier so I'll dig here so you guys can see what I'm doing uh, two deep two out because all you're gonna need really is to go down right here we're gonna come down here two again so we don't clip this come up insertion pipe well, for all you that don't know, when this comes down, we're going to want the item to be inserted into here. Then the ones that don't go, we're going to have go other places. And we're also going to need an iron pipe down here. Reason being is I want everything to come down through here and go up into here. And when it can't, it's going to go to the shortest inventory. So we don't want it to go all the way around there again. So I mean, if you come off and go about here... That's two lengths from the insertion pipe, so that's a lot closer than going all the way around to there. So then we'll slap that down. Now, uh, so we can get this started, let's get um, a couple bees out here. Drone, and we'll do a meadows drone, same thing, a princess, and we'll get them mating so that... Uh, now, so on this pipe right here, we're going to have, I'll show you in a minute here, we're going to have black bee princesses. It's going to come down into there, and we're also going to have gray bee drone. So no matter what, they'll both meet right here, be shoved in. The princess automatically shoved in there, which will be right there. And then down and around, one drone will go in, and then the next one that comes out will go that way. So I found I was getting too many bees. I eventually put an incinerator here. But I guess you can go like an apiarist chest or if you want to save the drones for say another farm or something like that. But I got way too many. So now what we'll do is we'll fill this back in so you don't have to see this. And we have to get some flowers going here as well. Just toss those back. Grab a few of these out. And it doesn't matter. You can do how these however you want. Like I said, you may have a redstone engine and a torch right here pumping that wooden pipe but uh, whatever works for you I like that they're much smaller same deal see we got her lifespan coming down now and now while that's going then you can get your settings done okay so gray or black doesn't really matter they're both gonna have to come around anyway reason I don't have an iron pipe right here and not one right here is because I'm gonna make this top one the princess so there's only going to be one coming along this way, so it'll come down and get inserted into this. This one, the black one, is what's going to be the drones, and I have that pipe there, so after this one gets inserted, the other one doesn't come up, say, oh crap, I can't come there, and then go back down. So let's go to the gray one, and we're going to put princesses. Then the black is what's going to be our drones. Oh. 
right? Drones. And then green is gonna be our items. So like everything else, items. No bees allowed, just items. Yellow, you don't have to set to anything. That means it'll just accept whatever uh, comes to it. So that seems to be pretty much everything. Um, this right here, you guys should know what it takes. I did meadows because, I mean, it's easy to simulate a meadow with grass and flowers. So it shows you it's going. And um, this kind of thing tells you it doesn't take a machine. Who owns it? You can set these differently depending on if you got other people in your base. Like I said, put an apiary chest here if you want, or a diamond chest or whatever. I like I said, I eventually did an incinerator. I was getting, I was filling like ten of these chests a day. I had uh, about twenty of these lined up right next to each other. Then see, I had another apiary chest right there, and I had this set up probably twenty times, all dumping into one chest and an incinerator. Anyway, I will bring this back to when we are done so you guys can see what the setup does. Alright, welcome back everyone. Um, I fast forwarded this a little bit. Here we got uh, this much life left. I wanted to leave just a little bit. Sometimes it goes in chunks. Recap, we got our princesses coming up through the gray. Straight in. One drone down in. The next one should shoot off and go this way. Like I said, I prefer an incinerator there, but I mean, uh, whatever you want. We got some random flowers appearing here. Who knew bees did that kind of thing? Just kidding. Um, and here we go. One more. Then we're going to see the bees slowly come out here and they'll actually get shot off in whatever direction they come. And what's nice about these is they can do kinds of liquids and whatever you want, depending on what you set that to. And, uh,. You can even run a type of red wire along, so you can eventually hook this up to a switch. And then you could switch on, say if you had it pumping water, or your fuel, or these bees, uh, and you wanted to shut them off rather than coming and taking all the bees out, you could just shut these gates off and they'll no longer pull anything out, so everything would just sit over in here. And yes, there is many items you can stick in here, and I mean all I'm here for is to show you this main basic setup that's pretty much fully automatic this will go till these chests get full which gets nasty you get a huge pile all right anyway here we go the first bee is coming and it went down into the black and straight in see so now here's your drone here goes another one black and wow apparently that was a weird video glitch but anyway no matter what this uh here she is, is the Meadows Queen, and now everything starts over again, and I didn't see... No, we didn't get anything. So, yeah, this actually went all the way around. I guess what I'm going to do is put an iron pipe there, possibly. But anyway, this will fully completely work. Doesn't ever get plugged, nothing, unless you get these chests getting full, or this one getting full. That's why I said an incinerator is best when you have... A whole hundred of these going or something like that and you're getting bees constantly you're gonna get one each every like what five ten minutes for this to drop down times 20 or however many setups you do anyway I hope this was helpful I didn't see very many on YouTube so I thought I would make one that's generally simple and easy to do thanks everyone 